So one of the ways that advertisers and newspapers and others try to get you to use clickbait um, and try to get you to go to their websites and drive traffic is something called the curiosity gap. So we're going to look at what that is and some examples of what that is so that you can try to keep yourself from being tricked. So let's think about this headline for just a second. Go ahead and play that video game. It might actually be good for you. Many of you would probably go ahead and click on that link because there's some information there you're wanting to learn. So let's think about first some vocabulary words. So curiosity is a strong desire to know or learn something. So think of some things that you might be curious about. When you were little, you probably asked your parents thousands of questions about why is the sky blue? Why is the ocean warm? Um, any of those kinds of things. You had a really strong curiosity. Well, now advertisers and newspaper companies have used something called the curiosity gap to help them. And the curiosity gap is the desire for people to figure out missing information. And so websites and newspapers and magazines, um, well, you try to use these to make you click on their headlines. So when we think about the curiosity gap, let's break apart this headline so that we can figure out what that means, right? So we're trying to bridge the information from what you know to the, the gap you want to fill is that knowledge that's in that article that you don't have, but you're curious about. So this one says, go ahead and play that video game. It might actually be good for you. So when I'm thinking about that, I say, okay, well, what information do I know? How does this headline refer to something that I already know about, right? This up here. And the way that it does that is it mentions video games, which are something lots of people are interested in. So what knowledge gap does this headline say it will fill? How video games can be good for you, which would be surprising to people. Okay, so here's the knowledge I have. Here's the gap it's trying to fill. This is the headline or the website that someone might put to try to get you to go there. Let's try another one. You should never brush your teeth without this trick. All right. So how does this headline refer to something you already know? It mentions brushing your teeth, which just about everyone is familiar with. What knowledge gap does the headline say it will fill in? Well, I want to know about that trick you should always use when you're brushing your teeth. 80% of kids love cupcakes. New study shows why. Hmm. How does this headline refer to something you already know about? I bet it's referring to the cupcakes, right? It mentions cupcakes, which is something a lot of kids like. What knowledge gap does this headline say it will fill? Well, it will tell you why kids like so cupcakes so much. And let's try one last one. You won't believe this, the children's story that's actually true. So, hmm, what's the headline refer to that I already know about? Well, I know about children's stories and I see pictures of monkeys. So I think it's gonna be something about that. So mentions children's stories and has pictures of monkeys. And most people are familiar with those facts. Which knowledge gap does this headline say it will fill? Well, I'm wondering about the true story right? So that a true story is that's about a children's story and monkeys. So a children, how a children's story can actually be true and what it has to do with the monkeys. So those are all examples of what the curiosity gap is and how the our advertisers and newspapers and websites use them um, to try and help you click on their get interested in and click on their stories. So when you're looking at websites and you're looking and saying, hmm, it has some information about something I already know, but it's really trying to draw me in with this curiosity gap. You wanna be think really carefully about whether that's clickbait or not and what you have to gain from going to that website.